Many of SnapLogic's customers work in industries or sectors with strict compliance requirements on audit logs. In some of these situations, it could be that the audit logs simply need to be retained for longer than the default period. It could be years beyond that default period. So there's a number of reasons that this scenario exists, but it is a frequent one among our customers. So for this video, I'm going to take on the role of an IT team member who manages a SnapLogic organization. Somebody comes to make a request and, and what I want to do is get this written as quickly as possible. So how do I accelerate that? So today we're going to use SnapGPT and we're going to take essentially a conversational way of asking exactly what we just talked about and send that to SnapGPT. So we're going to say create a pipeline that will fetch my SnapLogic activity log and write it to S3. So if I open the rest kit to take a look, you can see here that we have the you know, example URL coming from our documentation. So I would just need to flush this out. So, so it's going to be snap gpt.labs.snaplogic.com. And then at the end, my organization would be SnapLogic. And of course that may be different for you depending on where you're ultimately running this. And then we'll leave the limit 200. Uh, so let's go ahead and save this. And then the other thing we need to do is add an account since there's gonna be some basic authentication. So we'll add my account. And then what we'll do here is take a look and validate this pipeline and see how accurate we are. So with a few changes there and perhaps maybe a few changes to the mapper for what you need to accomplish, uh, that would be it. You'd have a working pipeline and then assigning your file name. So it doesn't take all that long in that case to get this administrative task knocked out. And this would basically be something that would start any company uh, exporting their audit logs from SnapLogic to a longer term solution in just a matter of minutes. Thank you so much.